Happy Friday! Did anyone even notice I wasn't on last Friday? I was so crazy at Product Symposium. I feel like every single week I've been traveling and traveling and traveling, which when you're working your business, you are working for sure. Um, today, I, I actually am right now at Bertucci's. I'll show you my tag, ragtag team I have with me um, in a minute, but we are having lunch and in about um, five minutes, we have a health professional. Tina, you're sitting right across from me. Thanks for being on. Um, hey, Bill, how are you? In about five minutes, we have another health professional who is coming to meet with us. We just went out. We did a couple cold calls. We divided. We conquered. We had a couple appointments. We have one more after this. It's been a great day. But we were just talking about the one thing that I feel like gets your health professionals into trouble. And this is the case in my group, this is the case in I think a lot of people's teams, and that is that health professionals, they make money with this, they make good money with this, they then wanna share this with their colleagues, their colleagues are out of their mind excited, and then guess what our problem is? Can anyone on here guess? Our problem, hey Claudia, our problem is then our health professionals don't have the Nutrimetrics consultants to support them. So I was just talking with one of my health professionals who's here with me. We just went into a meeting and I was going through and she's actually said to me, she goes, do you think I'll be able to hit the Nutrimetrics challenge? And so we went through all the challenge paperwork and documentation and she's like, what do you mean a staff one, two, three? What do you mean um, lunch and learns? What do you mean this? And I was like, well, I, I can't always support you and I'm not your NC and you were sponsored by a health professional, so dude, we gotta get more Nutrimetrics consultants. Does anyone remember what I say in training? How many Nutrimetrics consultants per account? How many? I'll take one from the audience. Two! Two, thank you. Thanks, Mom. That's my mom. Hi, Pam. I am, I can photobomb or video bomb my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Susan, how are you? Oops. This is what happens when I don't have my whole getup. If you've been with me, you've seen my whole getup. I don't have my getup today. Three, Claudia. Claudia, three would be awesome, but two. I think a minimum of two Nutrimetrics consultants per account. So two of them. And so this is the problem. And so spoken like an attorney, Bill said. <laughs> I know you too well, Ma. <laughs> um, but so we just went out today. We have appointments next week with three health professionals. Tina, you gotta listen to this. We had an appoint we have an appointment next week with three health professionals. So you're gonna need to assign a minimum of six NCs to those health professionals. And so we had a dentist. A dentist he had I think fifteen to twenty staff members. So there's a possibility that one of those staff members could work as an implementation manager. It doesn't mean she has to come on with Nutrimetrics with Market America. So as long as we have someone that's a go-getter, now I would say maybe in Dr. Sarah's practice, who's a chiropractor, they seem spread really thin. I think she's looking for the outside consultant type, so a minimum of two for like Dr. Sarah's practice. Now I don't know, we haven't figured out the third one, we don't know really his office dynamics yet because we didn't really do a discovery meeting. But they could be small. I don't know how many staff members. Did you get how many staff two members? Staff. Yeah, they have two Only staff. two staff members. So we're going to need two people. They could be the same two people that help Dr. Sarah. Because I think you can help, you know, a few health professionals at a time. So you've got to figure out, you know, are your NCs, are they able to work full-time? Are they able to work part-time? And you can't spread your and sees too thin either. So you have to be really aware of that. I think maybe somewhere between three and four practices per NC, if they're really working it, could keep it part-time. So you could do double that if you're working full-time. Like I see Jack Hamill that you're on. And I know between you and Claire, you guys have more of a full-time Nutrimetrics consultant schedule. So that would work for you guys. Um, but anyone else, I would say three to four for part-time. But the biggest problem that I'm seeing is that we get our health professionals so excited they become HP executives or they've already been HP executives and then all of a sudden they want to share with their colleagues 
and we're not sending enough people to our Nutrametrics consultant training. Now I know we did sell out San Diego, but that's not helping us on the East Coast. I know we have a lot of West Coasters um, coming. I was just talking to someone from Hawaii who wants to go to the training. So um, I know that's servicing that side, but now we have to think to Niagara Falls, because I know for anyone like me who's in the Northeast, we can drive there. I mean, I'm planning on getting a little mini bus for my team, and we are hauling butt up to Niagara Falls in March, and that's going to make a lot of sense. So you really have to set your sights on where is your business going and sit down with your health professionals to say, let's reel this all in because I keep it part time. I have my own practices I work with. I can't add on another three practices to my plate. So what I need to do now is help my health professional find some NCs so we can support these practices that we have these discovery meetings with and proposals with. Claudia, I am so psyched that you're coming from Spokane. I have no idea where Spokane is. I have actually cousins who live in Spokane. Are you near Seattle? Because I'm doing a UBP, the Monday after NC training in Seattle. And we're gonna do a little bit about Nutrimetrics in the middle of that UBP. It should be in your GMTSS. So I hope to see you there. If Spokane is anywhere near Seattle, I have no idea. It's my first time going to the Pacific Northwest, so. Super fun. Um, I hope this was helpful. I don't know if anyone wants to weigh in to let me know, are you having the same problems with your health professionals? Are your health professionals in a good way becoming like a runaway train? And are you feeling like you need to now get systematized to get the support for all of the practices? Let me know. I'll be interacting in the comments for the next couple minutes. And um, I really hope you enjoyed this section, session of Frequently Asked Question Friday. I'm going to bring it back with my mom. Mom, this is how we end every Frequently Asked Question Friday. So I say, if you have a question that you want featured on the next edition of Frequently Asked Question Friday, just email Nutrimetrics at Nutrimetrics.com with the subject line FAQ Friday, and we'd be sure to feature your question on an upcoming episode. If you guys like more of my mom, let us know. Maybe she'll make more cameos. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a great day. Make it count, and I'll see you soon.